Hey, you folks, today I want to show you how I launch my kayak from a trailer uh, into the water using a boat ramp. So first, I'm going to get everything loaded up in it. Now, what I do right here is before I get in the water, I go ahead and hit the button to release my trolling motor from its stowed position. But I don't fully deploy it. I have this... Um, around the, the neck of it to go into a line that I then have tied off to a cleat so that I don't have to climb forward and fight to push this out of its seat and push this down at the same time. It can be a pain on the water. So I already have that piece of it done. So I get on the water, all I have to do is undo the cleat and it drops in the water and I'm ready to go. Okay, and then down here, attached to the back of the trailer, I have a carabiner to this rope. And this is a bungee rope that's I'm not sure how long it is 10 15 feet maybe point is it's a bungee rope so it stretches uh, connect it to the front of the kayak and then it runs all the way back here to the back of the kayak and then you have you know this excess rope hanging and so what i do with that so it doesn't get caught because that's happened sometimes where it's like it'll get caught underneath the wheel um i have this rod holder right here and i'll take the foam and I'll stuff it right there in its slot. And so it holds it just enough to hold the rope up, but then as the weight of the kayak goes back, it'll easily pull that out of there. Keeps it from getting tangled. Now, something you don't want to do is completely detach the front of the kayak from the trailer. And what I mean by that is this right here is what holds it on in the front when I'm driving down the road. And what I've done in the past is taken that off and then back down a boat ramp that was too steep and recently I had the kayak actually slide all the way off and go crashing onto the pavement before it got into the water so I leave this I loosen it a little bit um, so that I have some some slack to work with but I, I'll leave it attached and then when I'm backing down the ramp I'll stop hop out once I'm close enough to the water and then take it off I just come down here, disconnect it, pull the kayak up on the boat ramp zone. Stow it like that till next time. Just get it floating. To launch or to deploy the trolling motor, come up here and do this from this cleat. Like I said earlier, I'd already taken it out of its seat and unlocked it so it would come out, and then now all I gotta do is just lower it. Careful not to hit the camera. And then you wanna make sure that thing latches, because otherwise when you hit the hit the gas on this thing, that motor will kick up out of the water. It scared the hell out of me the first time I did it. And then cord just to keep it out of the way and keep it from because what used to happen is this thing used to fall off in the water and I was always afraid of getting caught up in the trolling motor so I got this little piece of bungee cord that just holds it there so as the trolling motor head turns you know it'll pull on it but that little bungee cord will keep it from going too far and keep it in place
Coming back, the second cable or second cord hooked up to that release pedal. Pull it back, pull the old motor up, and get it seated. You usually do this close to the boat ramp. Oh. Use the paddle to kind of balance yourself as you're getting out. Just pull her up onto the ramp. Mm. Float away. You get your truck or car or whatever you tow it on. this rope on this winder and just take it clip it to the front of the boat cut out some slack Shove it straight. No, well, kind of line it up where it's going to come back at your kayak best. At your trailer best. But. Clip it, pull it up, give yourself some slack on whatever it is, because what will happen is as you pull out the water, the back end of the boat will drop down. If you have this thing tightened down too much, you're going to bend the hull of your, your kayak. So like right there is too tight. Back off a little bit. Out, it'll come down right on top of the PVC bunks or whatever you use for bunks. And I'm gonna go park in the shade and tear it down, secure it, straps, whatever it is you use. Take it to the house. Thanks for watching.